Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poly channel. This video I want to share about summary for Lightnet Talk from Per Abyss. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. I got all this info from official Korea YouTube channel that they just stream this light net talk actually this is long discussion about future content update and they just hear any feedback from the streaming about current update and any input from player but actually this is full Korean language but for more easy understand what they talking about I will share you some summary for this light net talk first about not war and sits war as they mentioned on my previous video that I cover about Corsair awakening reveal they will improve reward for not war and sits war and next about even they mentioned they already prepare some interesting interesting event for this year Halloween event. Actually, they already mentioned it that I already cover on my previous video about this Halloween sneak peek that they will feature Dr. Marni on this year 2021 Halloween event. And next about additional patch, they just mentioned to fix some issue and bug that already occurred previously. And they need our feedback as player by sending ticket on official website if we found some bug or issue about our update. And next about costume, they mentioned in future they will release spirit costume so we can more free to customize our character outfit it's mean for example if you found outfit like this they will spare it for armor glove and shoes so we can customize our outfit by using more combination with another custom outfit and next about character reboot actually as they mentioned on previous post that I already covered before that they will release this character reboot starting at end of August 2021 and they will announce and release it at Black Desert Global Lab server so any player can test this character reboot and they will release it one by one to get additional fit back from this release and they plan to modify it again before release it on official server and also they mentioned about Corsair movement I think because Corsair movement too fluid and hard to control it and next about Tufala enhancement for new adventures they will improve enhancement for Tufala gear and also as they mentioned about making file stack using Blackstone that they already implement it at global lab update at 23 July 2021 you can check more detail update about making file stack directly using Blackstone either Blackstone weapon or Blackstone Armor on this video and about patch note they will review patch note once a month and will respond any suggestion from any player about this month update and about life skill content they mentioned they still focus about PvP like Seeds War and Not War and life skill content got delay but they already prepare patch for trading content that they already announced on previous Hedal Ball 2021 event and next about class balancing actually they got a lot of feedback about class balancing but they need to choose any future class balancing in future and they want to hear any opinion from us as player rather than we asking about character buff and next about treasure infinite potion and they mentioned will improve the weight of general potion but I didn't get what they mean about improving weight for general potion I think they will reduce weight for normal potion so we can carry more potion than before and next about character customization they mentioned will add new hairstyle for this year 2021 and they will release it at the same time with character reboot and next about security by using OTP one time password actually overall statistic player who use this one time password for their account around 10% and majority 19% player didn't use this one-time password but they will find way to promote this one-time password so more player can use this one-time password to have more secure for their account and next about gilly or camouflage because gilly sweet really annoying on red battlefield because very difficult to distinguish between friend or foe and they mentioned will not remove this gilly sweet on this game but instead that they will update player who use this gilly sweet to have some name but this name will become unknown adventures that appear on their head and next about cooking and alchemy they mention will update this cooking and alchemy utensil will become rechargeable one so in future we will have cooking and alchemy utensil that can be repaired and next about the mention actually as they mentioned before that I already cover on my previous video if you have tried this dimension they will adjust balance size for this dimension with any interior in future because as you can see any interior on this dimension looks like very small 
Hall, compare with the mansion, like this window, and next about Chief Mate, actually previously they just released Senior Trade and Warehouse Manager on Korea server. Actually this is another update for Senior Butler Manager, but this time for Marketplace, that previously we got this update for Warehouse only, and they plan to discontinue this Senior Butler and Senior Mate for Marketplace and Storage. As you can see on this official website on Korea server, they just give some notice for product suspension notice for senior transaction manager and senior warehouse manager and they stop selling these two per item and also any player who already purchase this mate or butler will got refund its pearl in future actually i also have this bastian the butler head storage manager and i think update for this suspension for this feature will be apply for all server globally so just wait future notice about suspension for this feature and refund our head storage if you already purchase it before actually i didn't know why they discontinue this feature but just wait until future update about the reason and next about bug if you use or eat wrong item like elixir of food actually this is really annoying because you need to wait around 30 minutes if you eat wrong food and they will add ability to remove any buff in future and next about pet as they mentioned before at Hedal Ball 2021 event they will add tier 5 pet that you can upgrade from tier 4 pet and also they got some another opinion to expand active pet to become 7 pet and also about server switch delay because if you change server you will got delay for 15 minutes and in future they will reduce it to become 10 minutes because there are guild based server that you can switch to another server that similar with guild based server without cooldown and next about placing 10 they mentioned they will change this R button to interact with this campsite because if you want to interact with this campsite if we pressing R our character will lying around on this 10 and this is really annoying and they will switch this R key button to another key and next about family back they mention about this family back they will allow treasure item maybe like infinite pot to become usable to another character if you put it inside family back and next about damage number that appear when you attack they will try to release it on global lab server before apply it on live server and next about content altar of blood and savage reef they will bring this altar of blood and savage reef and make it for seasonal content too and they will improve existing content like old hunting ground and any story content and next about guild drilling content Actually, this content exclusive for Korea server only. Outside Korea server still don't have this content. And they mentioned this drilling content will require to craft gold tank in future. Actually, about gold tank, they already mentioned it on Global Lab Update at 11 March 2021. You can check my previous video for more detail. And next, about ocean content, they will consider to add Karak skin. And also, they will release gold galley upgrade. And also, for character, they will increase basic swimming speed for all class. And next, they also mention about improving user interface for knowledge window. And also add some function to change our set crystal, either for PvE and PvP crystal. And next, about Imperial Delivery, they mention will balance its profit by adjusting number limit and server limit for this Imperial Delivery box. Okay, I think that's all 32 points that they mention on this late night talk at 31 July 2021. And special thanks to all my membership for for direct support via Patreon, Karya Karsa, or YouTube membership. And also my current member, Zekru, Dubia Dut, Lee Cham, Jimmy Snack, Doki, Transester, Aganim Scepter, Renegades X, Licky Cleaners, Aegis to Guild from NA Server, Carlsen, Homi, Preligrium, Ayrton, Suna, Tepan Gaming as Gold Member, and also all my Silver and Bronze Member. Thank you so much for all your direct support. This will make Chris Poly Channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful and as special thanks, I will put your name on my video depend on your support level. And we notice for some level, there are have some limit. So make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video I already put card for Patreon link. Okay guys, that's all about summary for this light night talk from Preabyss. Hope this info can be useful for you. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching. See you next time.